What's going on everybody and welcome to my M1 yellow iMac setup. Afraid and All right, so tell them to what? Tell them to subscribe. Yeah. If you're watching this video or not subscribe. Tell them to subscribe. Okay, yeah, I, I, that's actually true. Yesterday, I was actually looking at my analytics and a bunch of you who are watching the channel are still not subscribed. So if you're- Don't be that person. Yeah, exactly. If you're one of those people, you know what to do. I mean, come on, don't, don't be that type of person who just sneaks into videos and don't even comment or like or even subscribe. So go ahead, I'll wait. Anyways, let's start off with the accessories of the iMac setup, which by the way, all of them are linked down below in the description. So if you're interested in my mug, in my chair, everything is linked down below in the description. Let's start off with the lamps. They are Yumi lamps that add a lot of personality to the setup. They look modern and very versatile. And most importantly, they're yellow. Inside of each lamp, we've got the Lifex A60, which are HomeKit enabled lights. A really cool thing about this is that I can simply ask my iMac to control my lights with Siri. So Siri can change the color, change the brightness, or turn them off and on. The bulb can change color and temperature. But to be honest, at least on my desk, I tend to put them warm because I tend to focus more when my lights are warm. And next up is probably one of my favorite purchases I've made in years. This is the Ukmonk Analog. And it's helped me improve my productivity so much recently. It's a simple to-do list designed with minimalism and care. And it's really well crafted and you really notice it when you've been using it and adding it to your daily life. I personally get distracted easily. So whenever I have to add a to-do list on my iPhone, and then I'll just get an Instagram notification, I'll tap on that notification, and then I'll be, I'll end up scrolling through Instagram, which is horrible. With this, it's always there. It's paper, so you can't really get distracted. And all of your to-do list, all of your tasks, you'll be able to see them all day because they just sit there. I've also got a couple yellow accessories on the desk. What is this yellow Bandone pencil cup holder? It adds a lot of personality to the setup and it does its job. It's available in a bunch of different colors, red, blue, yellow. I mean, you know, Pantone. If you're not really into design, Pantone is actually the most famous color guide in the entire world. So, I mean, come on. This is so cool to have this here. Also, um, a yellow mug because why not? Also, since the iMac doesn't really have a lot of ports on the back, I hate having dongles just flying and floating everywhere. So that's why I picked up the CalDigit TS3 Plus. It's a Thunderbolt hub that has a ton of ports, ethernet, headphone jack, USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, but most importantly, an SD card slot. The thing that I love the most about this hub is that it's not necessarily a dongle. It just sits there. It's awesome. It's Thunderbolt 3, so it's it's got amazing speeds. It's sadly not yellow, which is pretty sad. Also, yes, a Funko Pop. Of course, I had to add a Funko Pop and I was looking at all of my Disney Funko Pop collection, which by the way, yes, it has grown. My collection is kind of getting out of hand. And I was looking at some yellow Funko Pops that I had. And of course I had to add a yellow one. That's why I added Pluto on the desk setup. Who loves Pluto? Drop a thumbs up for Pluto. I mean, come on. Um, the chair, it's an Offy chair. I picked it up on Amazon. It's a famous iconic industrial design from the 20th century. It's surprisingly very comfortable. And once again, most importantly, it's yellow. The cable management, I gotta say, is pretty nice. I picked up these tiny adhesive clips. They're super cheap. Once again, everything is linked in the description. I simply attach the clips to the desk and then I put the cables on the clips and hide them on the back of the desk. So then when you look at it from the front, it feels like there's no cables flying around. The mouse and the keyboard, I gotta say, I'm pretty boring. I'm using the Magic Mouse and the Magic Keyboard from Apple. They have always been my favorite. I currently own like the Amex Master, but I always end up going back to the Magic Mouse. Now the Magic Keyboard also has Touch ID and with the Magic Trackpad, I mean, it's yellow once again. I love the keyboard, I love the trackpad, I love the mouse, so why would I change it? And of course, the core of this beautiful setup is the M1 iMac. I fall in love with the design. Using it every day makes you realize that the white bezels actually look stunning in light mode. It's a great machine that is incredibly powerful. I've been using it as my daily driver for editing, graphic design, and everything. And once again, it is freaking yellow. One thing that it doesn't come pre-installed, which you probably should, is today's sponsor. Don't skip. Don't skip. I see you people tend to skip 
sponsored slots, don't skip. Meet Setup. Setup rethinks the way that we use software by giving you immediate access to a curated collection of more than 200 great productivity focused apps of once. It's basically the Netflix of apps. Whenever you feel like there's something extra that you'd like to do on your Mac, you can just type it in the search box and you'll find the right tool immediately. Now you don't need to spend ages searching for the right app. And all of this is just for $9.99 a month. You've got access to a bunch of apps and the apps inside are actually amazing. Like Famous Clean My Mac or the new modern AI photo editor Luminar, which I'm personally obsessed with. So if you guys are interested in setup, link in the description. Wow, you guys are gonna have a bunch of links in the description. So yeah, download setup, links in the description. Also, don't forget to smile today. Don't forget to be happy because life is good. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, peace. Afraid.